All right, so I wanted to throw this one out there uh, late tonight before I finish this off. Um, so I took the Chamberlain off the door and I put something else up. As you can see, I have my garage door control button installed, which by the way, I actually refurbished this button. I cleaned it off and then I put the black, put some black marker on the lettering uh, because they would have been black when they were brand new. So this is how I wanted mine to look. So I'm not sure if this button is what would have come with the opener I'm showing today, but it's an unlighted button, so it works. Uh, so the opener I did put up, um, well, I'll go ahead and show you. Yep, the Montgomery Ward. This is, now let me come inside. This is model. YMZ-34160A, um, early 80s is what I was told. Um, this one, as you can see, has the original light lens, which this light cover is in excellent condition. Let's see if I can get this off with one hand this time. I'm guessing probably not. All right, let me get this light lens off. So, come on. So, this light lens is really, really nice condition. It's a little bit greasy, but nice and white. I mean, if you put it next to the silver metal light cover, this thing is nice and white. And it's not brittle. Like, I can bend this and some, and it's still flexible. I mean, this is in really nice condition. What, I mean, these are really hard to find. What Garage Derby told me is that usually these little wire clips that hold it on uh, wouldn't do a great job. Obviously, this one has no problem holding it on because it's a pain in the butt to take off. Um, and then they get brittle, and then this would, wouldn't hold it on, and it would fall and shatter. This one has pull string, so... Turn the light on. Unfortunately, the thermal light delay in this does not work, which I believe that to be part of why this is so, this is such good condition is because I'm assuming the thermal light delay must have failed shortly after the opener was installed, or they never had a light bulb in it. Uh, you can see here I did tape these up because they're just bare wires and I don't want them to accidentally short out and run. I am using a LiftMaster Security Plus receiver. This is the model 635LM-01. Um, this receiver, um, I just used this instead of one of my three wires because I didn't want to bother trying to hook those up. This is the one that I had gotten brand new um, a little while ago. I don't remember when I got that. And then I'm using my... 940 out here and for the remote I'm using one of my 973 LMs that came with the 2265 and then I still have my other one here as well um, and then I actually because the fact that it has a newer receiver I can use my cue on this and I actually will have a separate video out of running this thing on my queue because that is pretty freaking cool that it has my queue. Um, setting the limits on this operator was actually relatively easy. Um, it really helps the fact that this thing has uh, that it stops going up. Um, these covers here, I won't be able to get them off, but these cover up the limit holes. Um, I don't remember ever having seen these on any of this style opener before so I don't know if these are also something kind of rare to find um, and then you've got your v-belt on the back um, the clutch which it looks to me like it's set pretty loose but eh, it's apparently not because I tested the force on this thing and it doesn't work uh, the little force which is right here in the rail which yeah um, I mean this thing still got Pretty much all the stickers on it and all that. It doesn't have a date, but I believe early 80s. I don't know if I already said that or not. Um, and 
There's the trolley. It's all plastic. I'll show you the. There's the inner slide on it. And what I had to, well, yeah, I'm, I have to use my new style Chamberlain arm because of how thin that is for the trolley. Uh, one of my thicker arms won't fit there. Uh, something I had to do, or what I had to do to get this one mounted because the rail was cut down, is I had to use some self tappers and put them into the rail. Drill through that really thick metal there to get those self tappers in because usually there's a little plastic thing at the front that would attach to a header bracket and I don't have that and I wouldn't be able to put it on if I did because the screw wouldn't allow that to go on. So that's what I had to do there, but it still works. Uh, this machine is a little bit longer. I did have to angle the back hangs just a little bit. Uh, this thing is also really heavy. Uh, compared to all my other residential openers, yeah, this one is easily the heaviest one I have. Although I'd say my two commercial openers I have are probably heavier still. Anyway, um, so that's really all there is to say about this. Um, I think I already said this, but thermal light delay does not work. Um, oh, you've got so reset button here. Yeah, I don't really think there's a whole lot else to show or say about this, so we're going to run this. Um, we're going to use the receiver, and here we go. Yeah, this thing is not quiet, I can tell you that. The, uh, the screw rail does chatter just a little bit, but it's not terrible. And, I mean, this down limit is set perfectly. Got the limits on this thing basically perfected. Let's see if I engage this here. Yeah, it's right down to the floor. Got the limits on this thing perfected. And it wasn't that hard to set, like I said. So, yeah. And then this, having that pull string is really cool feature on this as well. This is such a cool opener. I'm really glad I got this thing. All right, we'll run this up again here. Speed-wise, I'd say this one is a little bit slower than most openers, or most of my openers that I've shown. Um... It's definitely slow, a little bit slower than the Chamberlain was, the Chamberlain screwdriver down there. So, yeah, that's the Lords. Um, I like that with the light on. I feel like this would probably do a decent job at illuminating down here, having it on the bottom. Yeah, anyway, let's run this down one more time, and that'll be it. So there you go. That is the, now you can see that there a little better. And then there's obviously your V-belt, clutch, and all that. Such a cool machine. Um, and by the way, I think that the way these openers would have come brand new is, because the rail does come off. It basically would like slide out. The way I think this would come packaged is the head would be separate from the rail. The rail would, you'd have to bolt the rail on and then attach the V-belt or install the V-belt because, I mean, I really doubt they shipped it all in one piece considering that you can remove it. So anyway, um, that's really all I have to show for this one. So thanks for watching and my next video will be of this thing running on my cube.